Okay, today we're going to be looking at Voila. It's a personal assistant, um, a personal AI assistant that uses both GPT-4 and GPT-3.5. It's a browser extension that you can use in all Chromium-based browsers, in Edge, in Firefox. Wherever you need to use it, you'll be able to quickly have access to it. So you can use it for things like writing emails, for asking questions, and fixing spelling and grammar, as well as a bunch of other things. Let's jump straight into it. So on the preferences page, you can choose between light and dark mode. You can choose your AI model, whether you want GPT-4, GPT-3.5, or you want it to automatically switch depending on your question. Um, show voila pop-up on text selection. It's just a pop-up that will tell you what your shortcut is. Mine is currently control M. And then you've got your prompt suggestions. So I'll press control M to pull up voila. And these are the prompt suggestions here. So brainstorm ideas, outline, write a blog post, things like that. Um, let's click on Facebook post. This prompt is basically write a Facebook post about. It's a very simple prompt. It's something that I could just type out myself in a couple seconds. These prompts really do need to be made more advanced. They need to be more detailed to really get the best out of GPT-4 and GPT-3.5. Um, so I'm not really going to be using uh, these, I'll just be typing directly into the tool to ask questions. So, so let's say I'm looking at this article here. If I highlight this text and I press Control M to bring up Voila, I'll get these options. Improve writing, fix grammar and spelling, make longer, shorter, simplify the language, summarize, translate. I can choose from these quick actions. I'm just going to choose improve writing and let's see what we get. Shopify has gained immense popularity over the years due to its impressive features and user-friendly interface, making it easier than ever to create an e-commerce store. Okay, so it's rewriting the sentences that we have here, make it sound better. So this is a quick way to reuse some of your text. If you want to take a uh, part of your blog and throw it into a Facebook post, you could just rewrite it and reuse it. Very easy to do. Okay, so one of the main uses of Voila is in its Gmail integration. So you can jump into Gmail, click on Respond with Voila, and you can choose the tone. So I want a formal tone, and I want to write an email uh, to Sharon asking her for the outstanding payment of $500. And we will hit Enter and see what we get. Okay, the email we get reads as follows. Dear Sharon, I hope this email finds you in good spirits. I'm writing to kindly of remind you of an outstanding payment of $500, which remains pending as part of our previous business transaction. As per our agreement, the due date for settling this amount uh, has already passed. In order to maintain accurate records and facilitate a seamless financial process, it is essential that we address any overdue payments in a timely manner. Blah, blah, blah. It's got the bank details. Um, and it gives you a section to sign off. Okay, so you can choose between... Um, casual, formal, creative, and urgent uh, for your email choices. And also, if you have an email, uh, let me see what I can use. Okay, so this email here is um, a newsletter from Streamio, just saying you're a click away from your favorite movies, TV shows, and channels. Now, obviously, this isn't an email that I need to reply to, but just as an example, I'll use this. So if I highlight the information in the email and bring up, voila, I can say reply, saying thanks, and asking about future upcoming pages. Okay, so it will read through the email to see who has sent it and will reply to. So it's from the Streamio team, so it will start the email. Hello, Streamio team. Thank you for the warm welcome. I'm excited to start watching my favorite movies, TV shows, and channels using a platform. I'll definitely take a look at the Getting Started with Streamio guide to help me navigate through. By the way, could you please provide some information about any upcoming features or enhancements planned for Streamio? It would be great to know what exciting additions are in store for us users. Looking forward to your response. Best regards. And it hasn't signed off with my name because they've not included my name in the email. So if you write a lot of emails, this is an easy way to be able to put something together without having to put much thought into it. Okay, so if we head back to the preferences page, you can always go to your chat history and it'll list everything that you've created of the last 30 days. After 30 days, everything is deleted. Now, one of the, or probably the most important feature of Voila is the custom actions. 
So you can go here and create a custom action, say, reply to email. Let's call it friendly. And then uh, you could give an action saying reply to uh, the following email in a friendly tone. Um, find my bank details. So let's include the company name, which I'd, I would fill in my company name there. So you can provide all the details that you would want in this. And you're basically making a prompt that you can reuse each time. So if I create that action and I pull up voila and I check email, I would find reply to email friendly and it will fill it in with my prompt. So in this way, if I have specific tasks that I do every day, I can use one of these pre-made prompts on a daily basis without needing to type it all in. You know, the thing with Voila is um, it has a lot of the same features as Bing Chat. So if I had to go into Bing Chat, I could go here and I could ask some questions. I could go into the Compose section and I can write emails. Um, I can choose the tone, can make blog posts, paragraphs, ideas. A lot of the features are similar. Bing Chat gives you free access to GPT-4 in using certain formats, but not everything. So the power of Voila comes in that you can create these custom actions to easily create more advanced prompts. And also, let's say you want ideas for a novel. You can say, give me three ideas for a sci-fi novel. Okay, I'll just read the first one. Uh, the Memory Thief. In a technologically advanced society, people have the ability to transfer and erase memories at will. The skilled memory thief who has been erasing incriminating memories of high-level officials discovers a long-forgotten memory containing life-altering information that could change the entire world. They must, through various conspiracies and betrayals, they must, it's missing a word here, they must do something through various conspiracies and betrayals while trying to uncover the truth within the stolen memories. So that's quite a nice idea for a sci-fi novel, and you've got two other options to work with. So you're getting the full power of GPT-4 within this tool. You do not have to pay for an API. You do not need your own open AI account. Everything is provided in the tool itself. The main power of this tool is the convenience. So you can always just pull it up using Control-M or whichever shortcut you choose and be able to type in uh, from wherever you are, whether you're working on emails, you're writing a blog post, you can just pull this up in WordPress, get some ideas, um, get some paragraphs, create your conclusion, whatever else you need. You can do it very quickly using Voila. Okay, and on the roadmap, they do have more expert prompts, templates uh, coming up. Those are in progress at the moment. So that is what we need because the current prompts are um, they are disappointing and then AI assistance and just before I stop recording voila added the AI assistance section to their menu so if you click on this you will have a number of AI assistants that you can choose from so for example if you choose the social media manager getting more followers Okay, and basically the AI will act as a professional um, in that specific industry to help answer any questions that you might have. So at the moment they have business strategists, marketing experts, social media manager, design consultants, UX specialist, legal advisor, product growth expert, coding assistant, SEO expert, cybersecurity specialist, art director, interior director, architect, math teacher, life coach, travel guide, sales expert, and philosopher. So if you uh, need advice in any of these fields, you can use Voila to help you out. You'll just need to ask questions. It'll be a back and forth, um, like talking to a chatbot, but one that is um, one that is focused on a specific field. So that'll be a nice addition to Voila. Uh, so all in all, it's a pretty good tool. It does need some work. It does need those new prompts. So I quite like the convenience of it. Like I said, it has um, a lot of the same features as Bing Chat, but it's more about having the convenience of the tool and being able to uh, do more things than uh, Bing Chat is currently able to do. 
of course, a free tool can only give you so much access. Uh, you would need to to pay to get the full benefits of GPT-4. But again, with this tool, you do not need to provide your own API. You can just uh, sign up and use it as is. Okay, so that is a quick overview of Voila. you find a link to it in the description if you'd like to give it a try. Thanks for watching.